Hello, I'm Kainton, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to discuss why you should not study computer engineering. Yes, that is the discussion for today. Why should you not study this course, computer engineering? I wish somebody could tell me this about 20 years ago or, or 17 years ago when I was making the choice of a course to study in school. But now I'm telling you so that you avoid the pitfalls uh, I made and w what some other mistakes some other persons also did. So why should you not study computer engineering? First, why I decided to explain this is because I see many people study a course in school and at the end of the day, they, they don't do anything with the course. It's very painful because this is four years, sometimes five years, sometimes six. And then after then, this time is, is wasted in some way because this is a course you've spent your years studying. So let's go to the first reason why you should not study. The first reason is definition of computers have changed over the years. Computer engineering makes some sense maybe 50 years ago because if we say computers of that time, it's very clear. We have big computers like the ENIAC, the ATVAC or the Mac, Mac 1. These are big computer systems that is that you can see it and appreciate it, you know what it is, you know that there are people involved in the te uh, technology of developing these things. So that is what computers mean as of that time. So getting involved in building of these things or maintaining them uh, is what computer engineering means as of that time. But today the definition of computer is totally different. Now what is a computer? It may be something embedded in your, in your wristwatch, it may be in your, in your kitchen monitoring uh, 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 kitchen devices, it may be embedded in electronics in the home, it may be in the TV, it may be in the car, it may be in the aircraft, it may even be everywhere like visual systems. So if one is studying computer engineering, what, what really does he want to study? That is the point. So the definition of computers have changed. The word computer now is very abstract that you, you can't really say you want to go and study computer engineering and it makes sense, at least at this time. It's just like saying you want to study vehicle engineering. Now, what is a vehicle? Something that moves. Are you studying marine vehicles? Are you studying aircrafts? Are you studying uh, uh, earth moving vehicles? Are you studying uh, spaceships, trains, metro? Uh, metro? What really the, we won't say he wants to study vehicle engineering. There is no such course. So why should there be a, a, such a course as computer engineering? It's just too abstract. So the first reason is definition of computers now have changed. The curriculum was built based on the definition of computer 50 years ago. And now the computers now totally have changed, but the curriculum is still about the same. So. Uh, I don't think we should study based on the fact that the definition of computers have changed at this time. Now computers, computer as a word or concept is abstract, is vague, and is, it can't, is very, very uh, ambiguous. So that is reason number one. Reason number two, in the schools or institutions, the instructors don't really have the capacity to impart the knowledge of this area of IT. Let me explain what I mean. Today we have lecturers in school teaching computer or teaching some aspect of computer engineering or the other. Now, if they don't continually update their knowledge every day, uh, sorry, every year regularly, then they are not keeping tr uh, pace with the latest trend in the IT world because the IT world today is not the same as it was uh, tomorrow. So if one goes to stay five years in a place to learn from people who we can say are not really uh, uh, very, very uh, grounded on that field, then there will be a problem. You will not really get the knowledge you want uh, you, you, you aim to, to get. So the fact is, in many institutions, especially in African countries I know, uh, many of the instructors or the faculties, they, they are not able to impart, to impart this knowledge 
to you. That is reason number two. Now, reason number three, if you succeed in doing that, let's say you go to study computer engineering somewhere, uh, one thing is that you will lack specialization. The world today needs specialization, people that are actually experts in what they do, not somebody that uh, says he knows everything. I'm a computer engineer. Okay, fix this computer. You can't do it. So if people go to study computer engineering, however they succeed in doing that, spend five years in school, they will lack specialization. I can tell you from my personal experience, uh, after the five years, for me it was six, because there was one year of industrial action, then there are people that graduated, and you tell them, this is my computer, it has a problem, please help fix it. They don't even know what to do about it. But this is people that actually spent five to six years in school studying computer engineering. So what is the point? If you study computer engineering, most likely you will lack specialization. You will not be able to solve the computer problems that people face. And then finally, um, I've mentioned that the institutions that claim to do computer engineering don't really do computer engineering. Now, in many schools, we have this electronics lab where uh, we have electronic devices, computers to monitor the, to interface with the electronic devices. And sometimes this is the same place they say they, they, they use as their computer lab. If not there, they now have a, another place where you have uh, several computers, where you have uh, some networking equipment, and that is what they call the computer lab. <laughs> That is very funny because you can't really say you are studying computer engineering by gathering maybe 20 computers and these are even personal computers. They don't represent what computers really are. So these are the four points I've made. One, the definition of computers now have changed. Uh, the computer as a concept has become abstract, vague, very unambiguous. Secondly, the instructors in many schools they are not uh, competent enough to impart the knowledge. And four, sorry, three, you will lack specialization. You will not be able to solve real problems. And finally, the institutions that say they are doing this computer engineering, they don't actually do it. They, they waste your time. And then you come out uh, not being able to do it. So, if this makes some sense to you, uh, please let other people know this so that we will not send our youth to the, to the school to waste their years. Five years or six years is so much time. So let as many as possible, if it's not you, if you have younger ones, if you have nephew, if you have uh, uh, people in school or ones who are enrolled in some university or gain, gain an admission, let them know these things so that they will have some guidance in, in choosing a course to do. The question now is, what are the alternatives? What are the alternatives? I can tell you from my personal experience that for me, I spent these five years in school, but the knowledge I gained in real computer engineering was gotten outside the school, okay? So I recommend doing some other courses that are actually more practical than something really vague. For instance, computer repairs and maintenance. This you can do for six months to one year and you are competent enough. Or for instance, something like a graphic design. This is a course that people are, are getting very much, uh, getting paid so much for doing graphic designers. In fact, graphic designers today, they are, the need for them are, is, is increasing because the world is, is going towards more graphics, more video data than, than uh, traditional data we have of, of tests. Then we have a course like web development. You can study web development. You, you're able to build web applications, build uh, information systems. These you can also learn not uh, by going to spend uh, four years or five, but for one year or even less you can learn uh, web design. You can also learn database, database development. You can start with Microsoft Assize. Then from there you move to SQL. 
but the, the challenge with uh, uh, this one is you may need somebody to guide you not just to enroll somewhere but somebody to guide you in, in doing this so I hope this has been informative for you uh, these are the four points I've made based on my experience over the years as uh, a computer programmer for close to 20 years and also uh, an IT professional for many years this is what I want you to know please uh, let as many as possible especially in Africa because that is where the problem is give this uh, presentation to as many as possible so that people will know really uh, why they should not spend their years years of their life doing this course that really will not yield anything at the end I remain kind on the Tech Pro and please check back if you have any comments or observation you can leave it in the comments below if you have a topic you want me to discuss you can also leave it there in the comment below and be sure that I'll be back to answer your questions